Ladies and gentlemen, obviously, uh, here we are for Headlines of the World for the week of October 23rd, 2021. Obviously, I am joined by nobody. Um, Casey is still sick. He is recovering. Mr. He's getting better. He does not have the Rona. But I am also joined by our, you know, Mr. Cuz and Mr. Casey as well on the phone. So let's just dive right on into the news of the week. Um, obviously, first story has to be that uh, Brian Laudry's body has been found somewhere in a swamp in Florida. Um, what do you have on that, Casey? Uh, I mean, I figured he was dead, but I, I personally really don't even care about the story. Not important to me. Not important anymore. Okay. What do you got, Cuz? <laughs> uh, I think it was a reserve that they found it. And they found his backpack in a notebook or something. Yeah, yeah, and it's also very strange that, you know, they found this stuff, like, a day after the parents joined the search, so. Mm. Well, the parents found the body, too. I, I just heard they found the notebook. No, they found the remains, which is kind of odd. Very strange. Red flags. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, our second story. Alec Baldwin, um... On the set of a movie he is filming called Rust, uh, fired apparently a prop gun and killed a cinematographer and uh, wounded the director of the movie. Your opinions on that, Cuz? Uh, well, the gun, the prop gun was actually checked, and the guy, whoever checked it, said it was actually safe, but it ended up not being safe and had a live round, I think, in it. Yes, I mean, that's what I'm hearing, too. Also, there was um, a lot of talk about uh, the working conditions on the set and everything, you know, for, like, uh, I guess the local crew. So, I mean, yeah. they... I don't blame Alec Baldwin at all. Okay, fair enough. What do you got on that, Casey? Uh, I think there should be definitely safety checks. I, I don't know how much Alec Baldwin would know about which, which is a live round and which is a, a blank round, but Personally, my, I, I would personally want to check the gun myself before I start shooting stuff on set. Right, yes, exactly. You know, gun safety. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, Larry Hogan, the governor of Maryland, um, apparently uh, called out the president on his infrastructure package that, you know, has kind of been thrown to the wayside at this point in time, and he specifically said that Marylanders are fed up with the dysfunction in Washington, D.C. What do you have on that, Casey? I agree. I'm fed up with the the, uh, the bullshit that's happening in D.C. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I mean, not much more you can say than that, right? What do you got, yeah. Cuz? Yeah, I, I'm with Casey on that. I mean, there's not much else to say. It's just a bunch of bullshit. So. Bullshit. bullshit. Anyway, okay, moving Hashtag on to bullshit. our... Fourth story, uh, Colin Powell unfortunately has passed away. Um, he was Secretary of State from 2001 to 2004 under um, Bush, Bush Jr. Bush Jr., yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he died uh, October 18th, 2021. Uh, apparently, you know, we won't even talk about what they're saying the reasons are, but uh, any, anyone got anything good to say about Colin Powell? Uh, well, I was going to say Trump's shitting on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Casey, do you have anything good to say about Colin Powell? Because he was Secretary of State while you were serving. I mean, I, I've never really heard anything negative about him. I, I don't know too much about him. I know he was respected in D.C., which is enough to tell me that there was some, probably some side side type of corruption in that. So you, corruption. Okay, corrupt individual. <laughs> Anybody okay. respected in D.C. is probably corrupt. Fair enough. All right. Moving on to our final story of the week. Um, Bitcoin has hit an all-time high earlier in the week on Tuesday, I believe, at 9.42 in the morning. Um, and it briefly touched uh, 67,000. The previous all-time high was like 64.8. Um, obviously slight correction going on right now, but, um, also at the same point in time, this was a week where two, the SEC approved two Bitcoin futures ETFs. 
Um, two ETFs in three days. That's, I mean, got listed on the, uh, I guess one was NASDAQ, the other one was probably the S&P. But anyway, um, yeah, opinions on that. What do you got, Casey? Um, I mean, I, I like I like the way that uh, that Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrency has been moving right now. That there's not a lot of negatives that I can see from from it at this point. Right at the moment. Fair enough. Uh, what do you got on that, Cuz? I know you don't care, but I don't care necessarily about the whole crypto thing. But I do have a story about Elon Musk and uh, sharing this girl's meme, and then. Her being able to sell the meme for twenty thousand dollars afterwards. Yeah, I actually heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was an NFT, a non fungible token. But okay, Shows anyway. How much pool he has. Yeah, Elon Musk, fucking goddamn trendsetter. All right. Anyway, that is the news for the week of October twenty third, twenty twenty one. Um. Thank you, gentlemen, Mr. Cuz and Mr. Casey, for joining me via telephone. 